All right, so you've done tutorial number one. Uh, what we're going to do now is teach you a little bit about how to actually build a combination of pages into a site. Um, so what you really need to do um, before you start anything is to go up to the top and go site, manage sites. Um, and this is where you create a new site. And what you're effectively doing is telling Dreamweaver where all of your files will be relative to the computer itself. So at the moment, it's all going to my C drive, to my documents, to this folder called sites that I have in there, and then it's called unnamed site. What I want you guys to do is obviously change that to something that works for you. So um, I might just get you to build it on your desktop for now. So we're just going to call this one, I don't know, site one. Um, and then all importantly, change this browse for folder option and choose uh, a folder on your desktop or right click and say new and make a folder. Um, I'm going to choose my site one because I made it earlier um, and then say select folder and you can see that the local site folder changes um, and now everything we make will go into this folder. Every image you download, every video, every song, everything that you're going to put on this site goes into this folder. So hit save um, and then press done um, and you'll know, notice up here under files um, we got nothing in there yet because we haven't downloaded anything but everything we do will go into this site one folder. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is make um, a bunch of pages and we're going to make them link together just like a normal website. So what we're going to do is press Control A and delete because we don't want any of that. Um, and if you don't want to keep your CSS rules, you can highlight them and delete them as well. Um, and obviously that will reset everything back to default. What we're going to do um, is make some links. So we're going to make the first one say home and then we're going to write about and the last one, I don't know, images. Um, and these are going to be our links. Double click on the first one, home. And we are going to go up to HTML and we're going to link it to home.html. Okay, because that is going to be the name of our page, home.html. Um, and you'll see it's been highlighted. Double click on about. We're going to call this one about.html. You'll notice I'm doing it all in lowercase with no capitals at the beginning. So your English teacher won't be happy, but I will be happy. So make sure everything is lowercase. Um, it'll just help you later on um, with correct spelling and that kind of thing. Because if you have a capital letter um, and then you forget to use it later, you'll, your links just won't work. So images.html. So we are making these links to pages, but we haven't quite made the pages yet. But we're preempting it. So um, we're going to write underneath this home page. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save this page. So at the moment, this page is called Untitled 3. But what we're going to do is make this our home page. So we're going to go File, Save As, and choose our site, My Site 1, and we're going to call it Home. Now, you don't have to write .html afterwards because it's automatically put in by this um, right here. So if we press Save, so if we wanted to test this, go to your site, um, and then double click on it, and we should get Home. If you click it, it should take you back to itself, uh, which it's doing, which is terrible to look at, but it's working. All right, so what we're going to do is go back to our My Site folder, the one where we are going to keep all our stuff. Press on our home.html file, um, and it might not say .html for you, um, and if it doesn't, you can just go to View um, and see where it says uh, File Name Extensions. If you uncheck that, um, the .html is not visible. Um, but you can tell it's still HTML because it says it right here and it's openable by Chrome, so it's most likely HTML. Um, doesn't really matter what you do, just don't get confused because the most common mistake people make is um, if they've got file extensions off, they'll write .html again. So it'll end up home.html.html and that'll cause you issues. So um, you don't want to call it that. So just be aware which one you've got checked. Um, click on that, press Control C and then Control V twice. Um, and what we've done is we've copied our home page identically. It's links. So we made links, three of them before, to about and images. So what we're going to do is just rename each of these pages respectively. So this was going to be called about. And this one is going to be called images. Okay, so there are three duplicate pages, but they're each called a different name. And if we click on images and hold down control and then click on about then let go of control you can drag those into Dreamweaver and release them here in this top gray bar 
um, and you can see that we've got three pages and this is the beginnings of our site so we've got interlinking pages um, and if we go here as you can see we can see the home.html and the other one hasn't loaded yet so if you click on refresh here you'll notice our three pages have popped up that we have made and they are going to all link to each other but can't really tell that they're working because each page is identical so on home page leave it as home page then when you click on about page we're going to call this one about uh, and then when we go to images we're going to call this one images okay so it should say home page on the home page and then about page images page what we need to do is say file save all um, and all these will be saved now and now if we open one of them like the home page um, you'll see home and if we hit on about it'll take us to the about page and images it'll take us to the images page so we've got a site with three pages now um, and they all interlink with each other if we go back to Dreamweaver uh, we can see our links working here in the background so on the home page for example we can see the href to the home.html page um, we can see the next one right next to it to about and images and if we go onto our next page we can see the exact same thing happening on that one as well okay so that is the beginnings of a website you can obviously add more to it like images and add a bit of a blurb on each page if you want um, but that is the basics of having one site with multiple pages linking together um, most importantly hopefully you've learned about site manage sites and ensuring that you pick the folder that you're going to work from before you do anything else thanks for watching this tutorial move on to the next one